Hello everybody to this new weekly format called News Access. Every Sunday you can access the latest and biggest news stories of the week. This week we talk about the Flash movie, Deadpool 2 and the first Valyrian trailer. Let's go! Number 1. Name of the next Tomb Raider game leaked. After the highly successful Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is since a few weeks also available for PlayStation 4, it shouldn't be a surprise that a sequel is in the works. The Reddit user Triple H 208T posted a photo which he captured in a subway in Montreal. It shows someone working on a game called Shadows of the Tomb Raider. This would make sense as you already know that the next Tomb Raider game is developed by Eidos Montreal and not by Crystal Dynamics. Square Enix hasn't made an official statement yet, but it seems very likely that this leak is true. Number 2. The Flash movie loses its director. The Hollywood Reporter reports that the Flash movie director Rick Famuyiwa, who signed up to helm the movie this summer, has not exited the project over creative differences. The movie, which stars Ezra Miller, Kirstie Clements, Ray Fisher, and Billy Crudup, was gearing up to shoot in March 2017, but apparently Famuyiwa's approach with the fastest man alive wasn't sitting well with the folks at Warner Brothers. The director exits could mean that the Flash gets pushed back as Ezra Miller's schedule is tied up with another movie set to shoot next summer. This is the second director in 7 months to exit The Flash, which certainly gives the movie a bit of a stain. Coming in as the third director on the project can't be the most exciting opportunity, so it will be interesting to see who is next a candidate and if he can keep up the March 2018 release date for the movie. Number 3. Stephen King's Dark Tower got delayed. The upcoming fantasy movie based on Stephen King's The Dark Tower novel series has reportedly been delayed. According to Entertainment Weekly, the movie has been pushed back from its original release date on February 17 to July 28, 2017. The outlet sources say that while the movie wrapped production in July, the post-production work won't be completed in time for a February debut. The studio needs more time to work on the movie's VVX as well as additional time to promote the movie. Number 4. Junkie XL leaves Deadpool 2 After director Tim Miller left the Deadpool sequel two weeks ago, Junkie XL, who composed the first Deadpool movie, has announced via Facebook that he's not longer involved in the sequel. The decision is a result of some soul searching, which started for Junkie XL after Miller's recent departure. Along with Deadpool, he has also scored the fantastic Mad Max Fury Road and worked with Hans Zimmer on the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice soundtrack. The John Wickter director David Leitch is currently working um, on the sequel which has set to start production in early 2017. Number 5. New Overwatch character Sombra officially revealed. After a long series of teases, countdowns and leaks, Blizzard finally made Overwatch's new hero Sombra official on stage at BlizzCon this Friday. Blizzard describes Sombra as a very powerful infiltrator. Her abilities include a machine pistol, the ability to hack enemies so they temporarily can't use their abilities, a thermo-optic camo that makes her invisible for a short period of time. Blizzard has also released a new gameplay trailer and a new animated short movie for a character. Check the description for that. Number 6. Valyrian trailer next week. After a bunch of people saw the first Valyrian in the City of a Thousand Planets footage at San Diego and New York Comic Con this year, they were extremely hyped. We have to wait just a few more days until we finally get to see the first trailer for the movie on November 10th. Of course, you will find the trailer ASAP on my channel this Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. You can also enable the video notifications for the channel on your smartphone so you can catch the latest videos as soon as possible.